So you might know about Nebuchadnezzar. He was this mighty ruler of the Babylonian Empire, 604 BC to 562 BC. I mean, he had controlled the, all the area from, from present-day Iraq, Iran, down into uh, present-day Syria, into Israel, down, in, down to Egypt. And uh, just a mighty warrior, mighty king. He even wrote, you can read on some of these uh, cuneiform tablets that are in the British Museum. He wrote, look at this, Babylon the Great, and I built it all by myself, a royal palace adequate to display my honor and glory. Nebuchadnezzar had a, a problem with humility. He had a huge ego, and he built all sorts of palaces, the, the gardens, uh, for his glory, for his honor. Now, the interesting thing about history is it says that Nebuchadnezzar went crazy for a period of time in his life. He actually had some kind of a psycho malady where he wandered around like a madman. In fact, some of the accounts say he, he grazed like an animal. His nails got all long and gnarly and he grow, grew hair uh, on his face. And, uh, and uh, he went kind of crazy into this psychomania that was recorded in a number of accounts. Well, seven years into that, he had a wake-up call. He came out of that. He was okay. And he woke up to the fact of his humility. He woke up to this fact. Uh, I'm reading from the prophet Daniel right now. I, Nebuchadnezzar, looked to heaven. I was given my mind back, and I blessed the high God. Thanksgiving and glorifying God who lives forever. At the same time that I was given my mind back, I was also given back my majesty and splendor, making my kingdom shine. All the leaders and important people came looking for me again. I was reestablished as king in my kingdom and became greater than ever. And that's why I'm singing, I, Nebuchadnezzar, singing and praising the king of heaven. Everything he does is right, and he does it the right way. He knows how to turn a proud person into a humble man. Nebuchadnezzar was this incredible story of a mighty king who got humbled, a mighty king, a godless king, who found God, who ultimately realized that the king of heaven was the almighty and that he was in place because God allowed it. The splendor, the majesty of God in heaven outshone anything that Nebuchadnezzar could ever be. And so it's an incredible story. You can read a lot of these types of stories of some of the great kings, Cyrus the Great of Persia and, and, and um, some of the pharaohs down in Egypt, where they had a wake-up call, an epiphany one day, where they realized the limits of their majesty, and they were ultimately humbled in some, um, some crazy way. Remember, um, maybe it's a lesson today for some of the rulers of, on the world stage here in 2010. Maybe it is a lesson, a wake-up call. That those who are mighty, those who have power, those who have military arms, those who have money, um, ultimately need to realize what their true position on planet Earth is.